Hi guys, this is a quick review of the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. And the shade I purchased was Cappuccino. Um, I tested it on my chest this morning when I woke up and it blended in perfectly. Like, it blended in completely perfectly with my chest. So, I've been wearing it around for the last three, four hours now since I've been up. I should have, I should be asleep, but yeah, I gotta, I gotta go to work at seven. But anyway, it, it looks just like, it looks like you have really nothing on really. Like, and that's what I like about foundation. I want foundation that looks like you're just, you just have beautiful skin, not like you have a whole like busload of foundation on your face. That's not the business. Don't walk around like that. People gonna talk about you. Don't don't do that. Please don't do that. Don't do that. But anyway, like, yeah, I'm not I don't wanna look casket ready walking around every day. I wanna look like I have beautiful skin that is, that is mine and you can't tell me it's not because you can't tell that I have foundation on. That's what kind of foundation I want. And this gives me that look for what was it like eight dollars eight dollars like seriously compared to i think the makeup forever hd is like 42 dollars. it gives me the same it gives me the same look but eight dollars 42 dollars like i'm gonna buy some more of the hd just because i like it but i'm gonna go buy some more of this too and i'm gonna buy some of it for my kit to for my clients and stuff when i start really really building up my clientele and also like comparing it to the Mac Studio Fix which is a different formulation and it's supposed to be like medium coverage and it's buildable and whatnot but the red line is buildable and I mean I just like the way I really really like the way it looks on my skin and I can't I don't have any negatives to say about it it I mean you can see it and if you're wondering what this is on my lips it is one of the uh, Color Sensational Vivids in Hot Plum, which is the only one that I, I, I purchased two of them like a couple, like a month ago. I purchased that one and the Berry, Brazen Berry. I don't like Brazen Berry. It doesn't, because I expected it to look like it did in the tube and it does not look like that. But anyway, it's supposed to be about foundation, but I'm getting sidetracked, but yeah. Try it out. It's, I mean, it's worth trying out. And if you can't, you can't find your shade. Most stores will allow you to take the foundation back to the store and exchange it for another shade or your money back. So I'm giving this like an A plus on my Turtle Loves Beauty makeup skill, which I just invented in my head. But yeah, this this foundation is the business. So if you have it, you like it. If you don't like it, leave some comments below. Tell me about it. Oh yeah, like my. If you haven't already, like my page on Facebook, which is Turtle Loves Beauty, and you can follow me on Instagram for pictures, like just to see into my life and get pictures and whatnot. It's Turtle1920. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.